Hello my friends, I am here today with what I feel like is going to be a very long video because I'm going to be sharing with you my entire bikini collection, not just my swimwear line, not just my recent bikinis, but all of my bikinis that I've collected over the last handful of years and this is a video that I've been wanting to make uh, ever since last year during the winter time. Now that spring and summer is approaching, I feel like now is the perfect time to give you guys some ideas of where to shop for your next bikini. I feel kind of crazy for making this video because just imagine going to a fitting room and trying on like 50 bikinis at once and those things aren't easy to always put on if you have to tie them all up. So nonetheless, I'm going to try on most of these for you guys and just share with you some of my favorites down to my least favorites. Yeah, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and try them on and I'm going to be starting from my favorites and then work my way down. Let me go ahead and grab my huge bin. I probably own more swimsuits than your average girl, but whatever, let's do it. So I have an entire drawer in my closet that I have dedicated to my swimsuits. Um, and just so you can see, it's a lot. Okay, so starting off, we have this gorgeous set right here. It's called the Laguna set from the anime swimwear line. And I will be linking everything in the description below. I'll try to with all the swimsuits that are still being sold online. This one is super pretty because you can cinch it and I just love the ruffled bottoms. It's so stretchy. I wear a size medium in the bottoms and a medium in the top just because I am a 34C but this one is super fun and feminine and I feel like I'm going to be wearing this a lot, especially on my birthday coming up. I really like the backs because it's not too cheeky, but it's just like medium coverage so it doesn't look like granny panties or like the really old school swimsuits that just covered like your entire bottom but it's also not really like thong style so I definitely feel like this is my favorite bikini so far right now I haven't had an occasion to wear it yet but I'm pretty sure I'll be wearing it for my birthday and here you can just kind of see like an up close look of the details. Okay, up next we have this super simple staple piece. It's called the San O set. I'll go ahead and link this one in the description below. I am wearing a medium bottom, medium top. Again, I could fit into a small, but I just like that this one has a little more wiggle room. The fabric is super stretchy. It just feels really soft and buttery. I feel like if Lululemon had some type of fabric or a similar feel in a swimwear or a bikini set, it would feel exactly like this. I just feel like this is a color that will stay in style. You can keep this bikini for years and you can just feel the quality is so nice. So I absolutely love this one. Really simple, um, but you can't go wrong with just like a stable bikini like this and here is just like an up close detailed look love the color it's just kind of like this brown sandy nude color and I do like that this kind of pulls up to the higher waist I don't really like when bikinis sit here I just feel like this makes your body look a lot more flattering when it kind of rises up like that I really like this one I'm very picky about one piece swimsuits it ruches on the side and then it has gold hardware and it just kind of has a high rise cut which I really like it does also have adjustable straps so if you're worried about the girls right here if you need to adjust it down more adjust it tighter you can can make it fit just perfect again the quality on this uh, suit is so nice it's that real soft buttery uh, Italian fabric I'll link it in the description below I'm wearing this in a size medium I feel like you can wear this swimming tanning relaxing at the beach um, it's just a really flattering swimsuit I love it so much and again I am the type of person who is willing to pay a little bit more for my swimsuits as you can see they last me a really long time oftentimes I find myself giving away or donating or having to toss swimsuits that I only paid like 20 bucks for no harm no foul in that um, we love a good deal but I love uh, paying that extra dime for a nicer swim set or a swim piece that's going to last me years to come because I definitely reuse a lot of my swimsuits Okay, I feel like this next set is definitely a statement piece, like if you're going to like a luxury resort, staying at like a tropical destination, this is a very flattering swimsuit, but the backside is a thong style swimsuit. If you're not comfortable with 
with having your booty out. I definitely wouldn't recommend it. If you like that style and you're super confident in these types of swimsuits, then I would really recommend it. I personally feel like this suit makes me feel so good about myself. You can find lots of pictures of it on my Instagram. This is one of my favorite suits. It's called the Doheny set and I'm wearing size medium bottoms and a size medium top. And the color is like an off white. It's not a full white. So it looks really good when you want to wear it with like different accessories. If you want to wear it with like a beach hat or some blue jeans or some khaki pants. It just looks really nice because of the color. It's so flattering. It looks really nice on tan skin. Also, it brings out that tan and it just goes with everything. It's such a pretty, pretty piece. Okay, so this is such a pretty bikini. I wore this a ton in Hawaii if you've seen my Road to Hana video. Um, I love, love the color of this. It is the same bottoms as the San O bottom, so it's like a nice high rise, high cut swimsuit. I'll share up close the color and it just has like these really pretty bows that tie up here. So nice had that twisted there there we go i am wearing these in medium bottoms medium top it's just like this really pretty sea foam sea green color and it does have a lot of support and it just fits really nicely it's a really flattering swimsuit so this next set is one that i feel like i really paid an arm and a leg for because i really wanted it i'm not going to lie this was like a $230 swimsuit. And this is my most expensive swimsuit I have and I just had to have it because I loved the print and the detailing on it. I believe it's from Agua Bendita. Um, it's a little twisted here in the middle but I don't have time to fix it because I have 50 other swimsuits I need to try on. I wore this bikini a ton in Hawaii and it has double straps and just like these really pretty palm trees and beading and I just loved like the vintage kind of Hawaiian detail feel that it gave me. I don't know how to describe it. It was just such a pretty color. Bottoms do have these really pretty painted beads and I believe these are all like handmade, hand sewn on like all the beading and the printing. So um, while it was an expensive swimsuit, I just feel like I got my money's worth. And I believe a lot of their swimsuits are reversible so you can wear it inside out. So even though you're paying 200 plus dollars for a swimsuit, you can turn it inside out and it's kind of like getting two swimsuits for one. So really pretty. I don't know if I'll be buying a swimsuit this expensive again for a long time. Okay, I have another fun print here. I actually got this one um, at the Rip Curl outlet. So I live right down the street from a Rip Curl outlet, which is super convenient because if I ever need a deal on a swimsuit they sell them for like 40 bucks for like the entire set so here is an up close view of the print it's just this really pretty yellow with these white flowers on it and it just fits me really nicely it's a really flattering and really complimenting swimsuit i bought this initially to go to hawaii last year but then COVID happened and then that's when everything got shut down right before I was supposed to leave for the trip. Um, so I haven't worn this out yet, like for an occasion, but I wear this all the time to go surfing or to wear underneath my wetsuit. So it definitely is a supportive, supportive swimsuit and it kind of like has a clamp in the back so you don't tie it. It just kind of has like a metal clip. I don't know why I'm getting emotional right now putting this swimsuit on. You're probably like, what the heck? You know how certain pieces of clothing you hold on to or they have sentimental value this is definitely one of them um, I actually got this swimsuit at the top shop in the Philippines in 2019 and I haven't worn it or tried it on since my trip to the Philippines so when I put this on I just got like a wave of memories and feelings of when I wore this to go visit my family in the Philippines and Oh my gosh, I'm gonna start crying right now in this video. I'm not even kidding. I have like tears coming out of my eyes. I wore this at a white sand beach in Bohol. Starting to get all of these <laughs> memories back. Um, it's a really classy swimsuit. It's a one piece and it just kind of opens up here in the middle and then it has this one strap and then there's double straps up here up top. So it's really supportive. It's one of those swimsuits that's a one piece but it still looks really sexy on. And then in the back, it's all tank up. I truly don't have time to fix all of these, but you can see that the bag is just really fun. I'll go ahead and insert um, a picture of me wearing it in the Philippines, and I can't wait to wear it out again somewhere. 
So this is a really fun and pretty flattering bikini that I actually got from Target and I got it I want to say around Christmas time of 2020 um, going into the New Year's because me and my sister she actually came down to visit and we were going to Palm Springs and I wanted a new swimsuit I hadn't purchased a swimsuit in a while. You can see smalls are definitely a lot tighter on me. It just has like this really pretty black I don't know it looks like an animal print kind of um, but it's just like these little polka dots all over and then this one also has a clasp in the back or a clamp and then the bottoms are adjustable self-tying really surprised Target has just been doing an amazing job with their clothing and their women's accessories so definitely surprised okay so this is another one that I got for the Philippines but I didn't get it in the Philippines when I went in 2019 um, it's called P2F is the brand but I'm pretty sure I got it like in downtown Disney at like the rip curl store it just has this really pretty floral bleh, tongue twister it just has this really pretty floral print it is a light pink as you can tell I love just kind of like neutral colors um, I don't feel like I look best in like neons or bright pinks or anything super bright I feel like I just don't look good in um, and it does have these straps that tie into a bow at the shoulder but I think my other strap that's supposed to go on this side got lost in the wash or it's somewhere in this bikini bin. But I do love the mix in prints because it's just like floral and then you have kind of like this animal print right here on the straps in between. It's just really secure. I really love the quality on it. It has a lot of attention to detail and it's just really pretty. I believe I paid around 70 to 80 so it was kind of a mid-price swimsuit whoa red bikini okay this is my only red bikini i have and i don't know why this is a really pretty color like it really stands out i'm probably going to have to buy another red one soon i'm not gonna lie i completely forgot about this bikini i remember having really bad issues with whoever i ordered it from it was like some online store and instagram store selling like another brand's bikini i don't know why i did that i didn't realize it until after i got the order and it was delayed like two months but it actually has two um straps that you tie so i think it just makes it look that much more fun and then it kind of opens up here in the middle again this doesn't have a brand name on it but i'll try to jog my memory of where exactly I got this bikini and I'll link everything down below that still is available for shop that I have here in this bin. Okay, so this is a bathing suit or swim set that I actually have had since college and I believe I got it off of Poshmark but the brand itself is Naked Wardrobe. I do love this swim set how it fits but if I'm being quite honest it doesn't have that swimsuit material it just feels kind of like a regular top that i would wear out i haven't really worn it much since i got it in college i probably worn it a handful of times the only thing is like if you wear this on a really hot day your sweat will show through i sweat during the summertime i'm a human being and i noticed that like you could see it kind of dripping here in my chest or like in my underarm area and it just like wasn't the best suit to wear on a really hot day so that's all I have to say about that um, but if you're wearing this like on a normal day like at the poolside or something casual then this is a really nice swim set I'm not sure if they've changed their swim fabric since then but I do really love it and I just feel like I'm gonna keep this for a while okay this is like a really simple staple bikini with like a flare of touch it has these little ruffles here on the side if you're familiar with this X symbol it's from Boutine LA I'm not even going to bother to show you the back because all of their bikinis are actual thongs like on the back side, like just straight bum. So I'm not even going to share that. But for it being a thong bikini, it has great coverage. The only thing I'm not a fan of is their bikini material is pretty thin in my opinion. I own two of their bikinis. They sell at a great price. I feel like you get what you pay for, um, but it definitely is a thinner material and it feels like nylon, which isn't my favorite. It's just not as soft. Okay, so I absolutely love the print on this one. This is another bikini that I got at the Rip Curl outlet down the street from me. So they were having a sale like 
two uh, pieces for $40. So um, I do like this one. It runs slightly smaller on me and then I noticed like the sides of the bikini kind of falls down to the side of my waist, which is something that I'm not a big fan of. I like when I can pull the sides up a little higher, but it is a really pretty and secure top. I love the design, the detailing on this bikini. This was like, I got this last year right when like all the tie-dye stuff was trending and I still think tie-dye is in. I think it's really pretty, but I love that this one has the white stitching all along the top as well as the bottom. I wear this one a lot under my wetsuit when I go surfing, but I haven't had like a special occasion to wear this one out yet. So this one is for sure one of my top favorite bathing suits. I got it from this Australian brand on Instagram. It's called Koleha and I absolutely love it because it's so simple yet the texture and print on it is so unique and so flattering. So I'll show you up close. It just has this crochet design. And I believe I got a medium top and small bottoms and I wore this in Hawaii and I already put it in the wash. It didn't shrink at all. I always make sure to wash things on cold or wash my bikinis in the shower with me. And then I never ever dry my bikinis. I always let them hang dry, air dry. That way you don't have to worry about the material shrinking. I believe this set was like a little over a hundred. Okay, so this is a one piece that I got from Fashion Nova. I'm pretty sure this was like $40. I'm not going to lie, it looks really nice, but it's not a stretchy fabric, so when you put it on, it feels very stiff. Nonetheless, the style is really cute. I've worn this jet skiing, and I'm pretty sure I wore this to the Philippines. Um, it definitely just has like a thinner, not as stretchy material, but it does have this zipper here in the middle. If you are a baller on a budget, I would recommend. Honestly, it's not bad for a $40 swimsuit. And then it just kind of has like this mesh on the side which I think is a really nice touch honestly I like the swimsuit I've obviously held on to it for the last few years it's just kind of like a go-to staple black swimsuit to have in your wardrobe okay I'm very pleasantly surprised right now because these are two separate swim pieces that I've never worn together from two different brands and I saw them in the bin and I was like wait a minute like one plus one equals two this will look awesome together and Honestly, this does look really cute. I would totally wear this out. It's really cute. The top is from San Lorenzo and the bottoms are from O'Neal. And I got these both when I was like 21. I'm 25 now, so I've had both of these for four years. But I thought it goes really well together because these have three straps and then the back of the San Lorenzo top has three straps. So it's really cute together. I feel like I just found a new swim set in my wardrobe, which is one of the reasons I was really excited to make this video. Video too because I haven't dug up my swimsuits like this in a while and I feel like I'm finding new treasures. All right, we have another Boutine LA set. This was my first ever cheeky bikini and I'm pretty sure I got in a lot of trouble wearing this one from my mom back when I was in college. Again, this was like in the early days when like my beach and bikini obsession was like really sprouting. Just real quickly, I just wanted to like give like a funny story. I actually wasn't allowed to just like go out in a bikini all of high school and like a little bit my first year of college I actually had to wear a t-shirt over all my bathing suits. But this just kind of reminded me of those days when I wasn't allowed to wear bikinis out. So this one definitely has more of an athletic design and athletic coverage. It definitely holds the girls in. There's no padding and then the backside is just straight thong bikinis so I'm not going to be showing that. I don't know if I would trust it enough to do anything like super athletic like beach volleyball or surfing. I don't know if I trust it that much but it definitely has a lot of secure coverage. And then of course they always have a little X somewhere on their bikini for their logo oh my gosh so it is the next day and i couldn't even finish all my bikinis in one setting because i was running out of time i was filming for like an hour and a half so i'm just gonna try to get this knocked out real fast right now um so this is a roxy bikini this is for sure my most secured bikini this is the most secured top that i have i got this back in like i don't even know Four years ago, four or five years ago, I held onto this bikini because it's a great sports bikini if I'm doing like beach volleyball, surfing, it's just really supportive. Um, I have been wearing this more often lately. It was just sitting in my closet, just collecting dust. And if I'm being honest, the print isn't my favorite, but again, I just love how comfortable it is. Okay, this is for sure a favorite of mine, but I just got super 
frustrated and emotional trying to put this one on because all of the ties were undone and it ties in one, two, three, four, five different spots. But this set is from Tiger Mist. It is a favorite of mine. I wore it in Hawaii. It is very supportive when it's all tied up, um, but I just love the color, the print of it. It's kind of like a soft tie-dye print and it does have a really soft material which i'm very surprised so i'm pretty sure this bikini was around like 70 or 80 dollars but it's super super cute and i got a lot of compliments on this one so it is from tiger miss okay so this is one that i can't find the bottoms to but i know it's somewhere in my closet and i actually got this one because i absolutely fell in love with the print on it it reminded me of um, when i was growing up my sister actually had the stars and like the glow and the dark moons all over the ceiling this is what it looks like. It's just this really pretty print that I was attracted to right away. And it says it's from Snorkel, Snorkel BR bikini design. I'm not sure. It doesn't have any padding. It is a thinner bikini, but it's really cute, really pretty. I wish I could find the bottoms to this one just because I do want to wear it again. And I know I saw it somewhere in my closet, so I just have to find it. Okay, I'm running short on time here again. So I'm going to insert a photo of what this particular bikini looks like on. This is my second bikini that I have from the Australian brand Koleha. Um, so this one is really pretty because it's kind of like this shell material or shell design. Admittedly, I wasn't a fan of how the top fit me. It kind of made um, up here just look a lot wider and bigger than I really am. And I am a smaller girl, so I don't like to look too large up here. Um, but nonetheless, it is a really pretty design and I actually wore this on a boat in Hawaii when I was in Maui and my sisters and my best friend really loved this bikini so I think this one was also around a hundred dollars a little over a hundred I think but I did get this on sale okay this is one of my cheapest bikinis um, it's from Shein and it's just this marble kind of design which I really love and it came in a three-piece set I'll insert a photo somewhere right here maybe um but i love it because it came with like this mesh top sadly i don't know if it's just this set but i couldn't mix and match the sizes of the bottoms and the top so the top was just significantly too small for me um so i had to wear the mesh top over it in order for it to make any sense for me to just keep myself covered the bottoms fit absolutely perfect um but you can just tell the quality on this isn't as nice but it looked really cute um and it was actually my sister's favorite uh swimsuit that i brought out to hawaii um that they said out of all the ones i brought um so I don't know it's just kind of like real flimsy and it doesn't fit me as nicely or securely um, you can definitely tell the padding inside is cheaper but hey the whole thing was like $14 and it looked really cute um, I just wouldn't wear it really other than to take pictures but it is a really cute bikini all right my friends so that is it for my video today I don't have time unfortunately to try on the rest of these bikinis but I made sure to get all of my absolute favorite ones knocked out of the way so I promise you that these ones are ones that I've had probably since I was 18 or 19 that just don't fit me as well the designs and colors just aren't the best so I probably will be clearing everything out and giving these away because I do need to make room in my closet get some extra real estate space freed up in there so if you are shopping for a bikini for this summer or for an upcoming trip your post vaccine trip or whatever you want to call it I hope this video was helpful and it gave you some ideas of some great places to shop for a bikini leave a comment down below which one was your favorite and if you aren't already of course I'd love for you to subscribe and until next time I will see you all in another video soon bye